Hi, and welcome to this edition of Oceanside Spectrum. And for our first guest, we have C.J. DeMinto from the Oceanside Public Library. Welcome. Thank you. Hi. Thank you so much for having me here today. Oh, it, well, it's a, it's a joy and a pleasure to have anyone from the Oceanside Public Library because you, you all do cool stuff. Yes, <laughs> we do. It's an amazing place. It's so an amazing tell, place. Yeah, so tell us a few of the things that we're expecting this, mm -hmm. this month of April. We got National Library yeah. Week and you got all kinds of things happening this month. Yeah, so there's always something going on at the library. Uh, April is a very special month because National Library Week is in April. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, we will be celebrating the fifth year of our Adelante Bookmobile being back on the road, visiting communities, and working on literacy, mm -hmm. and providing a, a safe space for kids and computers and, and books. It's mm -hmm. going to be a fun celebration for that. Uh, we are also celebrating the 20th anniversary of our Mission Branch Library at its current location. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be a great month of April. So what are some of the things with the bookmobile specifically that mm -hmm. you're talking about? What, where does it go? What does it do yeah. there? Yeah, so in 2018, we have two bookmobiles, and they did, along with their regular stops, each one of them has three weekly stops, mm -hmm. uh, they did 126 special events and cultural programs. So those buses are out there, they're bringing books and, and entertainment and learning to Oceanside. Fantastic, and since there, you have a couple of different programs that are mm -hmm. Some that are specific for National Library Week in the whole right. month of April, but you also have programs that are consistently there that I think yeah. it's really important to tell the public. I mean, anything, you have things like scanning, faxing, you have yeah. internet service. What are some of the other things that you're offering there? Oh, wow, the list goes on and on. Uh, there's something for everyone at the Oceanside Public Library. There truly is, and really for all ages. We have a lot of early literacy programs. We have a thousand books before kindergarten program. We have story times almost every day of the week. Um, whenever you go to a location, there's kids in there reading and learning and singing. Um, we have uh, book clubs for all ages. We have them for tweens and teens and, and seniors. Mm -hmm. uh, we have teen art programs going on in April, which I hope people check out. Uh, we have also amazing adult programs. We have computer classes. We have citizenship classes, language courses, online databases, ebooks, books audiobooks. The list just goes on and, and you on. even have a program special for, um, I'm going to be PC about this, development okay. disabilities or adults with, could you just mention that? We do. That? We have special programs for adults with developmental disabilities. One is called the Library Club, um, where they come in and just have a great time. We do crafts. Um, there's also a book club um, for those adults, and they really have such a great time, and we would encourage people interested to, to um, reach out and find out more about those programs. And you have what's called a Reads Literacy Program, yes. is that? Yeah, yes. what is that? Yeah, so the Reads Literacy Program is an adult literacy program. It's been around for, for quite some time, um, and it's a very special program. Last year, it helped 80 adults learn to read. So we have volunteer tutors and learners that get paired up, and it's really, truly life-changing. Is this both in Spanish yeah. and English, or is it just English? This is an is English it, program, yeah. but we have lots of programs mm. in Spanish, including a Spanish story time um, and many others. And you also, now this was news to me, that you are the library oversees the City Arts Commission? Yes. Yeah. Yes, the library does lots of things, um, and the library and arts really naturally go together. Mm -hmm. uh, the City's Arts Commission is an 11-member volunteer commission. It's been incredibly active in the last couple of years. Um, the Arts Commission just wrote and got a uh, council passed, uh, a plan called O-Arts Master Plan for the Arts. So mm -hmm. it's the city's first cultural plan. Um, the Arts Commission also um, wrote and helped an area of Oceanside become designated as one of the first 14 cultural districts in the state of California. That is yeah. fantastic. Mm -hmm. CJ, the five yeah. minutes goes by fast. We have run out of time, yes. but thank you for joining us. Thank you.